You guys are seriously so patient. Thank you so much for waiting. I won't get into it too much, but long story short, I'm starting a new job for my off season with wedding photography. So the past month or so has been crazy because it's the middle of summer, got training going on, new job hours, weddings like up the wazoo. Thank you guys so much for your patience in this update. So there have definitely been some developments since the last video. If you saw our last video, the brutally honest ruggable review, you know that we had, I think it was like five and five. We had some pros, we had some cons. Um, long story short, we still do recommend the rugs. We're gonna keep the ones we have. Um, but we did want to give you guys some heads up regarding some of the issues we've noticed with our ruggable rugs, as well as some of the things we love about them. A few weeks after posting the video, we got a DM in our Instagram inbox. If you guys aren't following us on Instagram, we would love for you to join us on Instagram. We do a lot more updates on Instagram than we do on YouTube. So our Instagram handle is Okabode. We would love for you to head over there and give us a follow if you want to hang out. Um, but that is how Ruggable contacted us. So we got this in our inbox directly from the company. I, can't tell, I really can't tell if this is in focus or not. All right, so I'll read it word for word. Hey Kathleen, we saw your recent YouTube and blog review of our rugs and wanted to thank you for your honest review. You made great points and we're always trying to improve. We even got our average shipping time down to about one week, exclamation mark. Also, we hate to see that your top cover is curling and would love to send you a new one to replace it. We've been working on a solution and we'll be rolling it out in the near future. But in the meantime, please let us know which one you would like and we'll get it ordered for you free of charge. Thanks, exclamation mark. So, pretty straightforward. First of all, I just wanna say thank you Ruggable for caring enough to keep up with what people are saying about your product, for watching my review, for taking note of what I said, and just for appreciating the work that went into the review even though it may not have been like just a 100% glowing review like a lot of the sponsored um, content is for different companies. But number two, for reaching out and for giving us some updates about what's coming in the future. And obviously, thank you for offering to send another rug. That was very kind. So what we did is we just responded. I won't redo what we responded, but we were excited to hear from them. We said if they wouldn't mind just sending another one of the Cambria Red rugs, which is this one right over here. We're not trying to get like free products, really. I just wanted to see um, if there was something that we could do this time around that would prevent the curling. Okay, so now the exciting part, we did get our Ruggable rug in the mail, the new free replacement, and there are a couple things I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna roll out that Ruggable rug. We're gonna replace this Cambria rug, which is the exact same one we have in the box. I did wanna kinda compare the coloring because the, this one, it looks like it kind of has faded. Um, and that's okay, they're washable. If that's something else to take into consideration, because I did read a few reviews that said they were disappointed that their color faded. Um, if that's something to take into consideration, I want you guys to know about it. So we're gonna compare those rugs side by side. And then I'm gonna put the new one down. And what we're gonna do this time around is we're just gonna be really conscious of how much layover there is over the pad, over the underneath. So there's that Velcro layer underneath, like I told you guys. Um, and then we put the decorative piece on top Part of me wonders if maybe the curling is partly due to the fact that there was too much overlay. So this is the bottom layer and this is the top layer. We kind of had the decorative layer um, hanging over quite a bit. So when the dogs would play, they would kind of curl it up. And then the more that happened, it just um, kind of kept staying that way. So we're going to try this time to just keep it right next to that sticky underlayment. And we're going to see if that makes a difference. So. Um, obviously, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to update you guys on that specific piece until probably a month or two in advance because we didn't notice the curling on the first set of rugs until I had five Lunchables today. We didn't notice the first set of curling until probably three months in. So if you guys want to subscribe to our channel, I know I say that a lot, but um, we will keep you posted in the future about the Ruggable rug, so just make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see um, if these things that we're going to try differently this time do end up preventing the curling on our Ruggable rugs. Honestly, it might just be because we have crazy dogs and that's just something we have to live with. All right, so that's enough talking. I'm going to bring the Ruggable rug in and um, let's get this review started. Freya is incredibly excited about this, as you can tell. <laughs> All right, so this is just how new to YouTube we are. I totally messed up the video camera and I recorded most of the rest of the footage without any audio. 
Ugh. But it's okay because I'm just gonna voice over the important parts. What you really need to see is just the difference between the old rug and the new rug. If you guys have seen us on Instagram, you've already seen this, but they come when they're called. Hey girls. Hey girls. There was a better video on Instagram. All right, so I got Ian out of the garage. He's currently working on some plans for a new custom dining table for us. So we're excited to film some videos on just how he's gonna build our modern minimalist dining table. As you guys know, we have these huge leather chairs. If you haven't checked out our Ikea Genovad review yet, we'd love for you to check that out as well. We can't believe what a good deal we got on these genuine leather chairs that are basically just an amazing Pottery Barn knockoff. Okay, so here is the new rug that Ruggable sent. Thank you again, Ruggable. As soon as I opened the new rug, I could immediately see a difference in color, but a lot of that just had to do with some different lighting. So when I lay them down next to each other, they're actually pretty similar. I would say the color retention is fine. I think we're gonna be careful about what detergent we use with the rugs because um, there obviously has been some fading. So we're gonna be careful about the detergent, but I think probably most of it is just due to the fact that it's a pretty sunny spot, which you'll see in a second. All right, so I never did this part on my own before, so it takes me a little longer than normal, but this is proof that you can remove and replace a ruggable rug all by yourself. I am still working on the most efficient way to do it though. So as you can see here, I'm just trying to keep the edges of the cover as close to the underlayment as possible. I also went back and removed a bunch of the pet hair that I collected because I really wanted there to be the best chance of it sticking as well as it possibly could. In case you guys are wondering, this is the 8x10 side, and since filming our first video, they did come out with a runner as well, so we're gonna have to check that one out too. If you have another person to help you with this job, it is definitely a lot easier to have someone on the other end. Eventually, I did get all those little wrinkles out though, and it was a success. So I dragged Ian back inside, we got the furniture back in place, and it looked pretty good. He's also updating that fireplace mantle a little bit right now, so we're going to add a video about that as well. Alright, so as you guys can see with the new rug, the edges are a night and day difference. It's amazing to have a rug that isn't all curled up already. This side of the room is definitely the side that the dogs like to play towards, so they run and jump on the red rug, which is why I think it's experienced a little more curling than the lighter colored one has. This is where the sun sort of rests on the rug, um, and I think that's why we've had more color fading on that side. Thank you guys for watching this update video. We are excited to update you more in the future to see if these techniques we used will keep this rug from curling this time around. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed to our channel. And if you haven't subscribed already, we would love for you to subscribe so that we can see you again in the future. Fly and Freya would definitely love for you to be around again too. And if you're curious about how we're gonna go about building our modern minimalist dining table, definitely keep an eye out for that as well. We're gonna post some more updates on our Instagram as well. So again, if you'd like to follow us on Instagram, our Instagram handle is oak underscore abode. And in case you wanna check out our website with the blog post, our website is just oakabode.com. And I'm gonna add a blog post with the Ruggable updates as well.